Dear students, welcome to this tutorial session. Today we'll be learning georeferencing process. Already we have done this in the class, but we, are, we learned one method of georeferencing in QGIS that is uh, data to map method. Today we'll be learning about how to do georeferencing in QGIS to, uh, uh, using a map canvas. So for that, uh, what I'll do is that we have got, we'll go to this QGIS homepage as it is there in, uh, seen in your, um, we, this video, go to raster, georeferencer, and then we'll be adding, seeing, uh, Chhattisgarh map, which I circulated in the class. Uh, so I'm, now I'm loading QGIS map, so it is the downloads, QGIS, okay, so this actually is already there, so what I'll do, I'll remove all the G, uh, ground control point, GCP points, and I'll be showing you all how to georefer. And uh, doing it for map canvas, what we'll do, we'll be adding uh, quick map services and we'll go to the uh, Google Road. Or you can go for bench map also. Mm. Now we'll zoom this to Chhattisgarh. We can go for big. Um, bench map also it, it depends upon uh like you're friendly with which map which form of map bench map or um uh, google road map i'm using both so now we'll be zooming it and here i've got chattisgarh boundaries are visible boundaries are here so what i'll do i'll be zooming this and then we'll be looking for fine edges and same same position we'll try to locate in the uh, map canvas okay so here first point and in the class also i told you all that uh, uh, one should always uh, try to uh, take points uh, clockwise so first point i have taken this is the first point and now we'll go to from map canvas and same point i'll try to locate here so we can use this hand, which is also known for, known as pan. This is taking time. I'll zoom out a little bit. So this is the boundary which I'm looking for. I'll keep on zooming. You all will, uh, we are doing this because we are using uh, Google Google road maps because they are already georeferred maps. So we'll be taking coordinates from here and minded that to come in meters so you can see here if, what is the reading 9094 something so it is in meters so again uh, I'll be point I'll be taking this point and I'll try to locate same point here in the map yeah. 
so this is the point i'll say okay next again i'll um, zoom out and i'll try to find out another location which i can uh, for which i can mark coordinates so i'll be taking um this is one point i'll same point i'll try to find out here in the map so that my geo referencing is more accurate so i mean it will give you need to have a very good vision because boundaries are not uh, when it's very light so this is the point which i'll mark okay so i'll zoom it zoom in here So I'll take this point and from map canvas, I'll go to this point. So now, okay, I'll go for now third point for this uh, again. I'll try to find out sharp edges which I can locate in the uh, Google map also, which is easy for uh, easily located. So here, I'll take this point. From that canvas. And then again, I'll here, I'll try to find the same location. Taking some point time, but okay. We we'll need to do that from map canvas, and I'll try to locate same point. Okay, and now I'll go for third point, uh, fourth point. I'll take this point because here again some boundaries here, so this point I can easily mark so i'll take this point from map canvas and i'll try to uh, this is the point this is the point so i'll zoom a little bit mm -hmm. here is a river So 
so this is the point from map canvas and i'll take you click here okay after doing this i'll go for transformation setting template spline apsg so here uh, you all need to do is that uh, you need to change this srs that is special reference system because we are using google uh, google roadmaps and if we see uh, i'll show you what is uh, if you see the epsg setting here so it says it is 3857 so we'll go for we'll choose this 3857 because by default it is wgs84 so again i'll go to transformation setting and instead of like going choosing wgs84 i'll go for 3857 so i'll choose pseudo market 3857 and after that it is saying that where you want to save so what I can do is that I can save it in desktop. I'll go to desktop and then I'll be making new folder. Say one. And within this folder, I'll be saving this map. Okay. And then it says the rest of the settings, save JCP points. It's Totally discretional if you want to save GCV points, otherwise, then uh, uh, here it says load in QGS and done. So, once you are done with your geo reference, so it will be automatically there. So, I have checked in this option and I'll click OK. Now, I'll start geo referencing and it says progress indication is done. So it says that uh, raster was successfully geo-referred. So I'll close this, save. So now we can see that my map is already here. And it is, it is over. If I decrease, increase the transparency of uh, this map, so it will overlap with with the boundary of um, Chhattisgarh. So, just to make your so here I'll decrease the transparency. Apply. Okay. So now you can see that it is over Chhattisgarh. Okay. Boundaries are exactly matching. So this is a second method of georeferencing that is uh, map canvas. So students, you all now you all know two methods of uh, georeferencing. First is data to map, and second is map canvas. And third method is uh, using GPS. That is the handheld GPS. We have got in our department. We have got handheld GPS from uh, using that. You can uh, go to the field and then uh, add uh, coordinate information in that to GPS instrument, and with that, and then you can feed in the uh, feed in that information in the map. So that exercise will be doing later. So quick revision: What is georeferencing? Georeferencing is the process in which you are putting a uh, real world coordinate information to the raster image which you have got in scanned form or in a, uh, whatever form like here uh, in Chhattisgarh map this is the scanned map which we have got so this is the raster image and they have provided real world coordinate information to this map thank you